Hey guys, welcome to another video. And again, if it's your first time here, my name is George. This is my channel. I'm a surround with cars. If that's what you like, please consider subscribing and you join me from my or our new headquarters. I've managed to find an affordable unit that will help us grow the channel, make some extra money, some private jobs because I'm a mechanic as well. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to measure up the layout where the ramp's going to go. Hopefully we're going to find a firm that can lease it to us for affordable price and then we're going to build a mezzanine, which I'm hoping to do tomorrow. And then we can start moving stuff in and make some money and make some content. So uh, let's measure up and uh, see where things can go. So I am a mechanic by trade and I didn't quite realize how big the ramps are. Uh, I looked at the, the specifications and it seems like these are going to be the posts and I need about four meters from the post for the front of the car, the space to work as well as a uh, toolbox. And on this side we're going to have a mezzanine flooring which is going to have the mini underneath so we can restore it and it's going to go all the way to uh, where you can see the nice greenery and we have some quite steep steps and over here we'll have the drift car so we can sort of have it ready here work on it fix it repair it we are next to getwick so it's quite loud at times and where you see these new veto i think it is or yeah mercedes veto we've got allocated space for parking so what i'm going to do now i'm going to go to jawson's lawson's uh, one of those uh, firms that sell wood and stuff I'm going to order some wood and hopefully they can deliver it tomorrow and then I can try making them as an email and then I think Thursday we should be getting the ramp hopefully if everything works out so let's go to uh, the builders timber got the plywood or chipboard uh, I'm gonna use this beam as the support for one of the uh, for the one side of the platform it's made out of metal I don't know how strong it is but it's metal so I trust it I'm not exactly a structural engineer but I think it'd be alright and then the other side of the beam we're gonna screw onto the wall got some giant screws don't know where they are there So we're going to screw those there, that's going to be sort of doubled on one side, well once it focuses maybe I'll show you. So the two side ones they're going to be doubled up, it's 47 millimeter. they're going to be screwed together, this side again resting on there, it's going to be coming across, there's going to be a, a like a garden, was it, fencing post into there. And then we have the uh, the sort of rafters coming across and then the chipboards on top that way and that will give us quite a nice uh, sort of platform this is roughly where the post is going to be so it gives you an idea of how big it's going to be and i think the post from the ramp is going to be here as well somewhere so that actually gives us visually like only one post in the room because they're going to be so close together so yeah let's get cutting measuring remember measure twice cut once and uh yeah we'll see how we get on let's get started So far so good, so I've got the uh, first beam as you saw on the wall and then I've got the uh, another one screwed on top of it just to make it extra strong. Uh, I've put these screws uh, just through this one, those it gives us this much more in the breeze block. 
but I do think I'm not entirely sure about this setup so I will probably put some sort of post there then I prepare this sort of main post here I've cut it so it sort of rests on it nicely and I'm gonna double up again just one that's gonna be a little bit shorter resting on there then uh, one coming across from here to there and there's just the rafters so I've got these fancy brackets somewhere in this mess there you know same stuff you would use on a house let me put the boards on and I will look at a solution for for stairs I'll probably use just a ladder for now so yeah let's cut this one which is the same length as that we'll put it on and we'll make sure it's all uh, all squared up so we can uh, drill the post into the concrete So I've got the uh, supports here, I don't know what they're called, rafter, bracket, bits, <laughs> and uh, yeah, bits. And on this side, I'm gonna be screwing them through here. I've got long bolts, 150 mil, so that should be fine. And obviously the, the floor is actually gonna be resting on this beam anyway. Uh, so yeah, let's just get cutting. I need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Seven of them, and uh, yeah, then we can just try and put the floor on. I'm not entirely sure what we're gonna do about this situation here. I don't entirely trust this, this setup it, simply because it is a breeze block and they are not particularly strong to be honest. So I might add some sort of support maybe in this corner here. So it's new week, as you can tell, different clothing. I'm still working on the mezzanine because I didn't have a time to be here. I was working uh, long shifts for three days. So I've got two days uh, off now and uh, we're gonna get some guys to install the ramp so we can start finally start doing some uh, proper work and then move my projects here and then we can crack on and make the channel grow thanks to you hopefully and yeah that's it so let's tidy up So the ramp installed, it's not wired in apparently because they're not electricians, so I need to get electricians. I, I've had no idea. I thought it was going to be all in one price, but it seems like we have to pay more money. So great, which is quite unusual because I thought obviously, you know, paying one company, it's going to be all, but no. And in the meanwhile, I've been working on the uh, mezzanine floor. I'm just uh, just about to start putting the, uh, the boards on, but that's the ramp. Three and a half ton from a company called Automotec. I did not want the uh, stickers on there because I'll probably try and put a drift in stickers on there. I think it'd be quite a nice touch. Airplanes going, so I hope you can hear me. So it's three and a half ton hydraulic, and I need to uh, get it wired from this box up into uh, the fuse box. I've got the bits here, I just went to the electrical shop. But let's just uh, keep building the mezzanine floor and then try and design some sort of staircase. I'm sure it's going to be fun. All right. So I definitely wouldn't make it as a builder. Uh, what is it, measure twice and cut once is the rule. So There's a couple of bits that are not quite the way I want it, but I'm standing on it, so, so it's, it's all right. Uh, tomorrow, I'm gonna try and finish the uh, some sort of banister, whatever you wanna call it, the railings, 
and try and figure out what to do with the stairs and try and find someone that can help me wire in the ramp because the company just obviously doesn't do that. Uh, so that's for tomorrow, but anyway, I know there wasn't a lot of cars uh, involved, but thank you for watching and I will see you guys next time. Bye.